Hi guys and welcome to 123 Maya T's video where I'll show you how to get your iOS device out of a black screen. Okay guys, so there's going to be a few scenarios here. You might have gone to sleep and you've woken up and your iPhone just doesn't power on. You may have dropped it and maybe there's some, some hardware damage or maybe there's some software damage. So we're going to go through a few steps here to try and get your uh, iPhone powered on. Now, you might just have a black screen and the, and the device vibrates or you could just have a black screen and no power, no vibration or anything like that. So. So these tips should work for all iOS devices and I'll go through the different uh, uh, versions of the iPhone uh, troubleshooting as well. So I'm going to go through a few steps. Bear with me because a few of them are very basic but I'm going to cover the basic ones and then we'll get up to the more advanced tips. Okay, so the first tip here and I'll explain why is just make sure you have an hour charge time of your phone. Now, the reason why I say this is because, let's say, uh, you left your phone and the battery ran right down for some reason. When you'd go to charge your iOS device, it actually needs like 5% before the phone will, will, char will power on. So just make sure you do like at least an hour's charge. The next step I would say is just to try replacing this cable if you suspect it's maybe broken. It could be this part here that's broken, it could be the actual adapter itself or it could be the cable. So maybe grab another charger from around the house or you can try make sure that your charger works on another iOS device around the house. Okay so the next step here is if you're on an iPhone 6s or earlier iPad or iPod touch what you want to do is hold both the home and the top or side buttons for at least 10 seconds so we're going to hold down our home button and then our power button at the top there for about 10 seconds okay and then you should see the Apple logo come on and then hopefully uh, that's the first step okay so that didn't work so the next one to try now remember it might take a few goes for you to have a go so have a go at these like maybe try 10 times try at least 10 times you might just not be getting the the buttons pressed uh, um, at the exact same spot but the next one to do is is both your uh, buttons on the side here uh, so both your volume up volume down buttons and the home button at once you hold them all down and then hopefully you'll get the Apple logo come up that way if that doesn't work try just the volume up and the home button sometimes that will work as well and then same again volume down and home button and see if it will power on okay so the next step is for iPhone 7 or the iPhone 7 plus and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the volume down button and the side power button for the 10 seconds like so and then you would wait 10 seconds for that that Apple logo to come up so that might work for you guys Okay, so the next step here is for the iPhone X, iPhone 8, or iPhone Plus. So just pretend it's one of these phones. So obviously we don't have the, the home button down the bottom. But what we want to do is we want to quickly press and release the volume up button, press and release the volume down button, and then press and hold the side button or the power button, and then we wait for the Apple logo to come up. So press, let go, press, let go, and then hold down your side button there. Okay, so the next step we're going to do here, so let's say your screen is blank, but you can still hear, the, um, you can, you can, it still vibrates, you can hear messages and that type of thing coming through. Next thing we're going to do is put, it in, put our device in recovery mode, and that will hopefully bring it back uh, to a screen that you, that you can see. So first thing we need to do, and this is for the iPhone 6, S and earlier um, iOS devices. Just hold down the uh, power button on the top of the device three seconds, one, two, three, and then hold down the home button on the bottom of the device for 10 seconds. Okay, now that should put the uh, device in recovery mode and you may then see your Apple logo come up like it is coming up now. Okay guys, so you've done all that and you haven't got very far, you've still got your black screen the next step for you to do is again plug your iOS device uh, into into iTunes. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to plug it into your uh, computer, so your Mac or, or your Windows machine. Make sure that you've got the latest version of iTunes that you've upgraded your your iTunes, and then plug your iOS device into that. Now, if it works. Um, you know, leave it for about an hour and, and, and see if it, it comes up, but you should get a uh, message in your iTunes which says uh, there is a problem with your iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. And what you want to do is you want to press the update button. Don't hit the restore button because that will uh, wipe your data. When Again, when you see that option, 
uh, option to restore or update. Just choose update and that will reinstall the iOS uh, without erasing your data. Okay, so the next step here is for iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. So if your, if your backlit uh, display isn't powering on, there is a cable just in here which controls the, um, the back backlit display so you can try uh, pushing it down if you've dropped your phone you can try putting a bit of pressure on the back of the phone here and sometimes that will push the cable back in and the uh, the display will come back up after that okay guys so that's pretty much it for me if this video helped please leave a comment and let me know which step in the comments field below helped out it might help out some other people and that's pretty much it for me don't forget to leave a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.